Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today we're going to talk about the amplitude of a sine or a cosine function. Now basically there's two ways we can do it. One is if we're given some graph of a function. And let's say my sine graph looks something like this. Very nice sine graph there. It technically goes on forever, don't forget, but I'll eventually run out of paper. Now let's say this is one, two, three tick marks high. And going down, it's also one, two, three, tick, well, negative three, because it's tick marks going down. And that is going to be the same height everywhere there. And that is going to be the same height everywhere there. So the answer to the question of what is the amplitude, because remember, amplitude is just how high the graph goes, the answer is three, because you go three up from the middle line and you go three down from the middle line and the middle line is obviously at zero. So that's one way you can do it. Here's another way you can find amplitude. Let's say the function y equals five sine of pi x plus four. Now the only thing that matters in the actual sine function for amplitude is this number right there. That five, the amplitude's five, you are done. You do not need to do anything else and remember what that means. It means it's going five up and five below the center line, which this time the center line is at four, and that's because there's a vertical shift plus four. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to graph this, it would look something like this, where first of all, the center line is at four. So I'll just draw that as a dotted line to remember that that's the middle. And then we're going five up because amplitude's five. So five higher than four is nine, nine up here and five lower than four, we get down to negative one. So my sine curve is going to look like this. We go as low as negative one and as high as nine. And again, it's just gonna repeat this pattern over and over again. And that's the amplitude for that one. Now let's say I have this function, y equals negative two cosine of x or something like this. First of all, the fact that it's cosine doesn't matter and the negative doesn't matter either. Amplitude cannot be negative. I repeat, cannot be negative. The answer is just two, okay? You may be wondering, then what does the negative do? The negative sign is known as a reflection, and I'll cover that in a separate video. Now let's look at one more example. Let's say this time I give us a graph, and the graph looks like this. Okay, it's going up and down and up and down just like that. And let's say the highest point right here is six and the lowest point is zero. And again, I wanna know the amplitude. The amplitude is not six. And the reason why is because where is your center line? Well, what's halfway between six and zero? The answer is three. So three is your center line. So the amplitude, you're going higher three, you're going lower three. That's why the amplitude is actually three for this graph. So always find the center line first. An easy way to find the center line, the center line is always going to be at your minimum plus your maximum divided by two. So in this example, the minimum was zero, the max was six divided by two, your center line is at three. And remember why that's important because the amplitude is always measured as higher and lower from the center line. So that's it for amplitude. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.